On Friday, the Food and Drug Administration of the United States uh, did an emergency use authorization of remdesivir. Remdesivir, it's the first antiviral medication to have initial study results showing some effectiveness to treat COVID-19. It works by inhibiting the viral replication um, of the coronavirus. Uh, interestingly enough, it was originally intended for treatment of the Ebola virus. But scientists found it had activity against the coronavirus. Hartford Healthcare announcing its plans to receive Receive the drug approved to help treat those with severe positive cases of COVID or high suspicion of having COVID-19. Yale New Haven currently has about 50 patients across the health system already on the drug as a part of the trials and plan to continue its use. While more research will be done, preliminary results of trials by the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases showing promising results so far. So what they found is patients who received remdesivir had about a 31% um, faster time uh, to clinical recovery compared to those who did not receive remdesivir. Patients who received the drug also had shorter courses, about 11 days compared to 15 days for those who did not get the drug. Hartford Healthcare, along with other hospitals around the state and country, also continue convalescent plasma therapy trials research studies needs to be completed to get the definitive answer. But I've been talking to the critical care physicians across the heart for health care, and generally they've been very favorable on that part here. They feel that there has uh, some improvement um, um, has been shown. Now, the company behind the drug says they will be donating this first rollout, and it'll be up to the federal government to decide where the drugs will go, which hospitals, based on things like ICU beds. Aisha Bo, Fox 61 News.